Is your belief in God tied into this concept that we talked about that what's useful is more important than what's true or better than what's true? So we don't, do, do we know that God exists? I, I mean, we don't know, Correct. but it's useful to believe in God. That's a very good question. I think that believing in God certainly makes you more powerful, Yeah. which is proof for God. If right. God makes right. you more powerful, then God is real. Yeah. So maybe that's very simplistic, mm -hmm. but if I believe in God and I'm a more powerful version of myself because I believe in him, then he must exist. Yes. God has made me more powerful. Well, it's the act of believing him that makes him exist, which is another way of saying what it's you just said. Correct, yeah. yeah. So this is why I believe faith is such an important thing. But I think everybody has a God anyway. Yes. There's no such thing as atheists. If you look at the people who say, oh, I don't believe in God, they worship a, f a flag mm -hmm. and a vaccine. Yeah. So everyone believes in something. Yeah. So you have to decide what your religion is. And I, once again, refuse to believe in anything that takes away power from me. Mm -hmm. I believe in things that make me more powerful. And I believe that believing in God gives you a, a new degree of strength. And I also think everybody, to some degree, believes in God. I don't care what anybody says. If you put anyone in that submarine just before it imploded, everyone would pray. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. So it's ignorant to even say you don't believe in God at this point. It's interesting that you chose Islam. And I, I heard you talk a little bit about how you see yeah. God in Islam uh, as kind of, you know, I don't know what harsh is, but like firm yep. and uh, directional and clear yep. and this is right and this is wrong, yep. which sounds a lot like your life. dad. Well, it sounds a lot like life. Yeah, like life. There's, there's right and wrong in life. Mm -hmm. All this complete subjectiveness, this mush uh -huh. they're trying to create yeah. is done on purpose to confuse us. Yeah. I like the idea of right and wrong. I, I like the idea of not having a choice. If you walk in, if you're hungry and you walk in to buy a sandwich and there's a hundred sandwiches, it takes 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. If there's one sandwich, isn't life easier mm -hmm. sometimes? Yeah. So all this subjectiveness and all this choice and all this garbage, sometimes when I'm like, okay, I want to be a good person. I want a framework to adhere to that makes me a good person. Well, this is very clear. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, easy. Have you had, do you have like embodied experiences of God? Like, do you, do you relate to God in that way? Uh, you know, I don't want to say supernatural, but um, like, do you feel God? I absolutely feel him. And there's certain times where I may feel particularly energetic. When do you feel God? So usually when I'm feeling powerful. Uh-huh. There's been times I was in jail and I just got up and I just felt like, you know what, yeah, like just shadow boxed a bit. I don't know. I just, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, you just yeah. felt it. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'll be okay. Yeah, I will yeah, win. Yeah. I, I don't feel God when I'm sad or something like that. I think that the whole idea of spirituality and I believe God himself, he wants the best for you. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, yeah, how we're tying religion to, to my worldviews because my worldviews were the same before religion. I guess before it was the cosmos or just the way the universe works or light, dark, yin, yang, etc. I still say these things, but now I attribute a lot more of it to spirituality, a lot more of it to God. And yeah, I chose Islam because it's firm and I believe that I'm a person with firm principles. So I'm obviously going to liken myself or I'm going to feel an affinity to a religion that has firm principles yeah. because that's who I am as a person. I'm a person who's principled, yes, no, and I have no problem with people sitting with me and saying, what you're saying is bigoted or what you're saying is wrong or what you're saying is insensitive. Mm -hmm. I think Islam also has a similar issue. Yeah, I think you also chose the winning team. Oh, it's completely the winning team. <laughs> I mean, it's the winning team yeah. because, and it's the winning team and I didn't choose it because it's the winning team. It's just, okay. it's just the winning team because it has principles. Yeah, I agree. And unfortunately, when you have no principles, if you stick up, if you don't believe in it, if you have no hard line, if you'll accept anything, then you don't believe in anything. Yeah. As soon as you'll accept anything, then you have no hardcore beliefs. Mm -hmm. You have, if you have any set of principles or you have any things you believe in, there's gonna end up being a barrier and the people who fall outside of those barriers are gonna be offended by it. That's mm -hmm. the reality of it. Mm -hmm. If you have a religion or a belief system that doesn't offend anybody, mm -hmm. then it's not a religious or belief system, that's, that's my view. So yeah, I chose the winning team because I think more and more people are starting to understand how important God is in society. We are, this is the first time in human history we're testing society without God. And what do we have? We have evil, Yeah. we have Satanism, we have degeneracy. Mm -hmm. And I think that most people are starting to understand that God is really needed. When I was young, I used to make fun of what Bible bashers. Let's make fun of them. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm like, we need more. Yeah. Where are they? <laughs> we need more Bible bashers. Yeah, and I, I guess I certainly feel more powerful since I've reverted, but I always felt powerful anyway. But I guess now, instead of just believing it's the cosmic nature of the universe or, let me change that. I always felt a strong affinity to my last name and my ancestors. So I always had, a, to a degree, a spiritual aspect to where I got my strength. I always felt like, well, my dad is watching me, mm. or my ancestors tried very hard for me to be born, so I can't disappoint them. So I've always had this spiritualistic side. Like, I can't, my, imagine the disappointment my ancestors would feel 
if they fought saber-toothed tigers and survived World War II and went through all the garbage they went through just for my father to be born and then he suffered like he suffered to raise me, for me to be raised and become the most famous man in the world and call myself Top G and then cry when I went to jail. Mm -hmm.